We apparently have entered another opposite day situation, where left is right and up is down. Corruptus Maximus, ACA President Donald Trump, is tweeting out how others should be investigated for treason and dishonesty. He's uttering such nonsense in a week in which Michael Cohen sent Congress a letter revealing how damaging his newly discovered hard drive of evidence might be against Trump. Trump and his campaign associates met dozens of times with various Russians, then lied about it, then discounted it, and still have not explained why they engaged in such conduct. And we have indictments and convictions. We also have the developing tensions between Attorney General William Barr and some members of Robert Mueller's Russian investigation team, the latter making it clear that Barr downplayed the seriousness of the findings and facts in the report. We will have to wait a bit on the report and what it does or does not report to verify the Mueller team statements. On Saturday afternoon, Trump tweeted, Why should I be defending a fraudulent Russian witch hunt? It's about time the perpetrators of this fraud on me and the American people start defending their dishonest and treasonous acts. How and why did this terrible event begin? Never forget. Nobody knows who these supposed perpetrators are, but it is breathtaking that a sitting president would unilaterally accuse anyone of treason. And it's a bit premature to be taking a victory lap, one can ask the Auburn basketball team about counting a win her vindication before the scoreboard says zero. The terrible event began in this manner, a campaign for president consorted with, worked with, and obtained support from numerous unofficial representatives of the Russian government and became president of the United States. That same person then fired the FBI director under flimsy and ultimately untrue pretenses. Then he proudly confessed during a television interview. The game is not over and this is not a game. To give new context to an old adage, those who live in the White House should not cast aspersions. Truth will win out.